Today we are going to go through a rapid, rapid review, review of <clears throat> Still Austin cast strength. Kind of choked up a little bit there. Let's go. What's going on everyone? My name is Carlos and thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate it. Said everything kind of fast there more. Maybe it just seemed that way to me. Who knows when I go to edit this. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. I truly appreciate you watching this video and checking out the channel. If you have not yet done so, please just do me the favor and subscribe. That will really help me out and I will truly appreciate you for it. Now, if you're feeling generous, you can do some other stuff like like, comment, click that bell icon, and we have a Patreon in the description. But only favor that I ask is that you subscribe. Well, today we are going over Still Austin cast strength. Yes. <laughs> short but hey you guys know I can talk but um, if you don't know still Austin they are a Texas distillery out of Austin Texas and they have I believe two offerings right now um, both of them are called still Austin <laughs> and one is their regular offering I think it's 90 proof this one is their cast strength it's a little bit limited release but every once in a while it does come back up and you can buy it and this is 118 proof. I tasted their limited release. I mean, I tasted their regular release at a friend's house and it was pretty good. It doesn't really taste like um, the rest of the Texas whiskey to me, but either way, it is pretty freaking good. Now I did get into this. I tried to do a video on it and the video uh, went to crap. Um, but I just decided to keep drinking it and now I'm doing another video on it and hopefully this one doesn't go to crap. So I poured that in there, but I only had one sip on it. So we're still kind of in the neck pour, but hey, still good for the rapid review. Like I said, this is 118 proof, but it's not... It's a great bourbon whiskey, but it's not, it doesn't really have the same notes as other Texas whiskeys, at least to me. It doesn't have that tech, that um, Texas, that leather, that tobacco, but overall, it's a great freaking whiskey. Like I said, I tasted the regular one and now I wanted to kind of hold off until the, I was able to get the cast strength because these I have to order online. I actually ordered this one on Sealbox Com, so check them out. I honestly don't get it locally. If you live in Texas, you can probably find that locally. Anyways, let's go in for a uh, smell and then a taste. Let's go. Wow. So I'm getting a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of honey. There's some kind of spice in there and you get the freaking proof. That's for sure. It's, it's not bad. But you get it. You, you you can tell that this is gonna hit hard, right? Hmm. Caramel, vanilla. Some wood. Could be oak. Yeah. It's like an oak. And a little bit of an orange peel or like a citrus scent. Yeah, that proof hit me right there. That's 
a very inviting nose. Like, if I were to smell this, I'd be like, you know what? Pour me a dram. Let's get into this. So, I am intrigued. Let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Wow. I wasn't expecting the proof to hit me that hard. Gave me a Kentucky hug for sure, or a Texas hug. Um, very fruit forward. I'm getting cherries. Some honey, oak. Very creamy caramel, kind of like caramel candies that you can chew. Hmm. Oh, there's like a spicy, like a cinnamon spice. Yep, there's definitely a cinnamon spice. Still, at 118 proof, this doesn't hit hard, right? I was expecting it to be like, bah, right in your teeth. It's not as easy sipping as the regular expression at 90 proof, but this one's actually not too proofy as it could be, I guess. Let's uh, finish this off, cheers. I'll tell you one thing, it's very like full body, like it coats your mouth really good and leaves you with a nice finish. In the finish, I'm getting caramel candies or caramel chewy candy, cherry, oak, and a spiciness. But it's not a peppery spice or a rice spice. It's kind of more like a cinnamon spice, like a big red. Like think about the strongest big red type of thing that you could have, and that's what this has in spiciness. Look, <clears throat> I've tasted the regular Still Austin, and I've tasted this now. So the regular Still Austin, I think, is like 90 proof. This one is 118 proof. Maybe if they would have gotten something in the middle or have an expression of something in the middle, like 110 proof or something like that, it would be perfect for my palate, right? The 90 proof is good. This 118 is great. Um, it would have been perfect for me if they would have lowered the proof down a little bit and it was still more like easy sipping. But overall, this is a great freaking bourbon whiskey it really is now I wouldn't really put it in the Texas whiskey category because it doesn't give me those like leather and tobacco notes that other Texas whiskey does but overall bourbon whiskey this is great I would put this like in the category of like smoke wagon or something like that right so this is amazing if I see it on the shelf I would buy it if I see it online I would buy it once this is over, I'm gonna buy another one because I truly do like it. I think this one cost me 60 bucks on Sealbox, but remember they have like a 12 or $15 shipping fee, but it's worth it. It definitely is. And quite honestly, now that I've tasted this, I kind of want to get the regular expression, the regular Still Austin, just to compare and contrast them. So I'll be, I'll be looking for that and see if I can get those and do a quick little comparison of see which one I like the best. If my son were to break this bottle tomorrow, I'd be a little pissed, but will I buy it again? Hell yes. Gets a thumbs up, two thumbs up from me. Um, I don't know, I gotta come up with a, with a gauging system, but yes, I would definitely buy it. I implore you to definitely check it out. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna pour myself another one of this because this is already done, uh, but this is really freaking good. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Please do me the favor and subscribe. That will really, really help out. Shout out to my patrons right there. Right now it's just Bourbon Rendezvous, so you are amazing. And, well, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.